Hello gamers and welcome back to Let's Play Sonic the Hedgehog. I'm QB Dragon, and this is the Labyrinth Zone. This is also the first instance in Sonic of water. Water is Sonic's Achilles heel, folks. It makes him slower, he can't swim in it, and to top it off, if he stays underwater too long, he will drown. Which can only be prevented by grabbing those air bubbles that are floating out of those uh, little bubbles of air bubbles uh, that appear in various areas on the ground that periodically spawn huge bubbles that Sonic can use for breathing air. Which makes total sense, you know? Because giant air bubbles in real life, you know, they, they really work. You can breathe in an air bubble underwater and uh, breathe underwater. Right? Can you? Can someone test that? Well, I would really honestly love to know if you can actually take a giant air bubble, like one that's as big as your head, underwater, and then breathe, inhale it in order to gain air for a few seconds underwater. Would that work? I would love to know that. Someone tell me. Now! Uh, so anyway, this is the Labyrinth Zone. There are these switches everywhere that open up pathways which is a th big thing with Labyrinth Zone. There are lots of uh, areas where there are switches that, or not switches, yes switches, but also like walls that uh, have a unique unique uh, look to them. I'll show, I'll point one out later. Well, there's that one right there, which will, you know, just fly up right now. But there's also ones on the ground that'll uh, have a other distinct look. They're kind of segmented. But so you hit the switch, and it opens up those uh, areas, and it allows you to go through another part of the Labyrinth Zone. Uh, and it's a big thing in Labyrinth Zone, finding these switches to open up the next part of the, uh, of the area. And uh, one of them is actually hidden in a uh, item box, which we'll be seeing in, I believe, Act 2. Uh, these conveyor belts will often help you get to areas up high that you can't get to normally. And the corks will also do the same thing, except sometimes they're also underneath a uh, a um, ceiling, like those corks were right now. And if you stand on them too long, then they will rise up to the point where Sonic is uh, crushed by the ceiling and the rising cork. So you want to be careful about those. Also, we have these tridents poking out at regular intervals, a little more regularly than the air bubbles, but, you know, uh, that was one of the... Uh, floor things that I mentioned, and that was the end of Act 1, so yeah. Uh, no special stage because we already have all six Chaos Emeralds. Uh, the seventh one wasn't added till later, so our 50 rings are moot, and we move straight on into Act 2. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much Labyrinth Zone in a nutshell. Also, sometimes there are uh, spikes that pop up and uh, waterfalls that uh, makes Sonic slide down, and, you know, various underwater-themed enemies. Oh, and orb knots, which are pretty easy to kill. Uh, there's a glitch that'll let you kill, take off their... Uh, any, uh... Like, once they start firing their uh, spike balls, if you run off... If you run to the point where one of them is off the screen and then run back, it'll not have any of its spike balls, even if it still had a couple when it was firing. And, uh, you know, they're pretty easy to kill. You can even kill them when they have their spikes on. You just need to hit them after they start firing, but before they run out of spikes. So, you know, nothing too hard. Uh, nothing terribly difficult. There's a barrier up here. I would recommend getting it. And, uh, you know, some bubbles here. And uh, a spring for launching yourself up to the next area. Oh, and remember how I said in Marble Garden Zone? Marble Zone, I swear. Even... even Two episodes later, and I'm calling it Marble Garden Zone. Marble Zone! Remember how I said in Marble Zone there was a glitch that Sonic can jump without uh, curling and we'll never see it again? I lied. We saw it here. Moving on. Not Marble Garden Zone! Switch is in that item box. I told you it was in, in Act 2. And... Okay. Okay. Enough of Marble Garden Zone. Invincibility here. Grab it and you can go straight through the tridents. And uh, just run right through... It's, it lets you go through pretty fast. It's invincibility. Invincibility is always nice. It won't save you from drowning though, so still get those air bubbles. So yes, drowning, much like crushing, will not be prevented even though you're invincible. So be wary of that. What was that? What was that jump in the music? 
I have no idea. Let's hope it doesn't happen again, because it sounded bad, right? So, I'm ducking this guy's uh, spikes. Uh, you might be able to see them scrolling, like, a small pixel of them across the top of the screen, but I couldn't see them, so I took a little extra, a little longer than I could have. But, so, yeah, that's the reason I did that. Um, and watch out for the spikes there, because I think they actually crush you. Not just, uh, puncture you, crush you. I might be wrong. It, I, it's been a while since I got hit by those spikes. But anyways, that was the end of Act 2, so let's move on to Act 3, where once again we will face off against Dr. Eggman! Uh, you know, same thing. Uh, there's a phrase for that. I don't know what it is. Uh, who cares? So, moving on, this is Act 3. Starts off with uh, water, another water slide, and this water slide will actually loop indefinitely unless you jump off right there and hit that switch. But even if you hit that switch, it's still going to loop indefinitely. What you want to do is not jump down like that unless you're going through the barrier that I missed, which is right there. Yeah. Instead, you're going to want to not do that. You're go uh, obviously, you've seen the hole by now. Uh, you, you're going to want to jump through that hole, because you can, and then you're going to want to go down here, where there's a secret passage! Uh, that's... that's Labyrinth Zone. Or, any labyrinth, really. Secret passages that let you out. Uh, but so down here, it's nothing but water. Fortunately, there are air bubbles uh, throughout the area. Watch out for the tridents that are popping up out of the ground. And that falling block will sometimes sometimes jaws the robotic fish will sometimes be directly beneath it so don't always just ride it straight down sometimes you have to uh, jump off it to avoid losing your shield or rings or whatever uh, through here you're gonna want to grab onto the you're gonna want to move up and down the poles and let go at certain points noise. Everybody knows that noise. Everybody's, every Sonic fan knows that noise. It's the noise of drowning. Nobody likes that noise. It's haunted many, uh, it's haunted many a Sonic fans. And there it went again. <laughs> Fortunately, I'm skilled enough to not lose all my air. Here. Uh, anyways. So, yeah, that's the drowning noise. That was the jump in the music we heard in Act 2. I, I don't know why I was uh, fooling around, pretending like I didn't know. I guess I'm just trying something new. Anyway, uh, come up here. Ooh, that uncurling glitch again. Uh, hit the switch and there'll be a thing that un uh, goes up here. Uh, these corks will rise here. And here I'm jumping off to show you that the corks can be called back if you miss them. Uh, I thought it was by hitting that switch, but it's actually just going back a certain distance, and the water level will, will recede and the corks will fall back. But so you want to uh, keep rising, and you don't want to stand on any of the corks because they will crush you if you stand on them all too long. But the water's going to keep rising, and so you want to keep jumping and jumping and jumping and jumping. And there was a glitch there; I couldn't get, I couldn't quite get on the edge that time that first time, but yeah, I got on it again. Over here is another barrier if you lost one or don't have one. And it's Eggman! Get back here, you fiend! We will have our revenge! What's he doing? He's running away! Coward! Uh, yeah, that's that's his whole thing here. He runs away. That's the whole boss fight. Ow! Stupid! No! 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 Oh no! 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 Not fair! Not fair! Not fair! Come on! Come on! Song! Come on! Come on! I can do this! I can do this! I can! I can do this! I can do this! I can do this! And ah! Well, that's not good. And it's about to get worse. Cue death montage.
I need painkillers, everybody. Big, fat wads of painkillers. Tylenol, aspirin, Advil, any other drugs that will kill pain that I don't know the names of. I just need something for this Mondo headache that, that last, those last seven deaths gave me. Please? Oh well, doesn't matter. Uh, so, if you were paying attention during the death montage, you probably noticed that there are no rings during the ascension to Dr. Eggman. And you're right, no rings. So if you die, you have to get that barrier and uh, hope you don't get hit twice. Because that barrier is your one lifeline throughout this whole fight. If you die at one point, you go back to the checkpoint, there are no rings, and you need that barrier. So, you know... It's a good thing I showed you the barrier, eh? So, okay. I'm saying so too much. Here's where I died before, and look at that, I was so close. The first time I tried, I was so close to the end, and then I died and I fell all the way down. That just pisses me off. Oh well. So, that's the end of the Labyrinth Zone. I'll see you for the Starlight Zone next time. Have a good day, everybody. Bye.